upon our zoo, staff, and community by the egregious actions of Greg Bell, Tom Stolt, Pete Fingerhut, Tracy Murnane, and Grant Bell was premeditated and meticulously concealed. Although they have admitted to defrauding the zoo of more than $2.29 million, the damage is more profound. Because of their actions, the zoo has spent significant sums of money on legal fees, special audits, and other fees. All these funds could have been used for the greater good, to further our mission of empowering people and saving wildlife. But the damage is much deeper than the financial impact, and in many ways, much more challenging from which to recover. This was not a victimless crime. I am extremely remorseful, and I want to directly apologize to the Columbus Zoo staff and board of directors. The zoo was a major part of my life for over 29 years. I realize how that my actions hurt the reputation of one of the greatest zoological parks in the world. The zoo put a great deal of trust in me, and I failed them. I should have stepped up and turned the people in. I totally breached my fiduciary responsibilities. 